Hi everyone, I'm Sandy. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I have an update for you on my 3 million step challenge. I am really excited to kind of just check in with everyone and let you know how things are going. Um, since this is a bookish channel, I will start with the inspirational book that I read in the month of January and also share with you the book that I am picking for the month of February. At the end, I will go through all of the steps, where I'm at, how I'm feeling, Feeling, how I'm feeling about the project, all things related to that. So I hope you stick around for that as well. But the book that I ended up reading for January for my inspiration for this walking challenge was Ranger Confidential by Andrea Lank Lankford living, working, and dying in the national parks. This book was originally published in 2010 and documents Andrea's time working as a park ranger in several of the major national parks in the United States. And the thing I will say about this particular book is that I had no idea a park ranger's job was so incredibly dangerous. And all of the things that they are exposed to on a regular basis, everything from wildfires, flash floods, animal attacks, animal infestations in their cabins where they're staying, to the biggest threat I felt like to them, which are was the people. The people visiting the parks and the damage that they can do not only to the environment, but to individuals in the parks, to the animals. It was really, really interesting. I had no idea too that park rangers were licensed police officers and had to go through a police academy of sorts in order to be able to carry a firearm, in order to be able to be an actual park ranger. I learned so much about park rangers as part of this book. Now, as an avid outdoors person, <laughs> um, this book was wonderful because it took me out into the outside and I that's what I really wanted. I wanted to be in a book that would encourage me as far as wanting to get outside. And this book definitely did that. It was far darker than I thought it would be. There was one scene in this book where they talk about a protest about base jumping and why base jumping is not allowed at some of the parks. And someone um, did not survive their protest of base jumping. And so it, the descriptions after that were like, oh, yikes. That's, that's not good. Also, you, it says right on the front, dying in national parks. And that was the other thing is that it learned that right at the beginning, you learn that there's one park ranger that is going to be in this book that is no longer alive. And you spend the whole book kind of getting to know these park rangers and learning about them and enjoying them and having a lot of fun just kind of with some of the shenanigans that were being done in the park. And then you find out later who the person was that ended up not that ended up dying and that part was really really interesting way of doing it it does make the book a little bit chaotic because it's not going to be told in a linear fashion because you're getting snapshots of different park rangers and i did appreciate that i i was able to kind of keep up with it but i think that there's some it's not my favorite way of telling kind of a story especially something that is nonfiction. For me, I, I'm such a linear person. I'm such a data person. It's like, I want the story in an order that I can follow. But I did think it was very effective. I ended up giving it, I believe, right around the four stars uh, mark. So it was a successful read and did what I wanted it to do, which was inspire me to get outside and just read something that I'm super passionate about. So I think the next time I see a park ranger, I'm uh, definitely going to have to say hello and talk with them a little bit more. So we have ran into a couple when we've been out on hikes. So yeah, Ranger Confidential by Andrea Langford. She has a new book that has come out in the end of 2023, I believe, which is Trail of the Lost. I hope I get it from the library soon. I have it on the hold list. Hope, I hope, I hope, because I really do want to read it now because I live in the Pacific Northwest and can't wait to read her next or this next book that she has coming out. So that is my January inspiration pick. What did I pick for February? February went a completely different direction not a hiking book, but more of a trekking book. Uh, and it is The Climb by Anatoly, Anatoly Bukreev. I think that's how you say that. Lead head, uh, I'll get this right, head Everest expedition guide. Uh, Anatoly was one of the guides in the 1996 Everest climbing disaster um, that was featured also in John Krakauer's book Into Thin Air. So this is, he was a guide for a different outfit, not the one that Krakauer was climbing with. But if you see the movie, there's a movie Everest out there 
he's, uh, you definitely see him, uh, you know, character playing him in that. And he's not always represented in the best light in that particular movie. Uh, so I'm really curious about that. The other thing is that this says new edition includes a response to John Krakauer. Um, yeah. So I'm really interested to hear what that is all about in this. I'm hoping uh, this gives a really a different perspective. A different perspective. Uh, like I said, he wasn't climbing with the same group that Krakauer was. But if you watch the movie, they were tied together. I mean, they were climbing together. People were climbing together um, at around the same time and were trying to make the summit at the same time. So I'm really interested in this one. I hope it's good. I don't know if it's going to be as good as Into Thin Air, but it kind of makes me want to reread Into Thin Air after reading this as well. So to have the two perspectives side by side, it is kind of a little bit of a chunkier book, but I wanted to read this wintry kind of scene while it was still somewhat cold outside. So yeah, that is going to be my official February pick. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. So I've had this one now for a couple of years, so I think it's a good one. I think it's a good one to pick up. All right, so that is my that is my um, January inspirational book and my February inspirational book. I I think it's I think it's good. I think it's I've got a good one coming up hopefully, and I'm really happy with the January book. So how did I do? Well, it's mixed is what I would say. I in January I unfortunately was very very sick for about a good solid week where all I wanted to do was sleep and. With that, I lost some traction. <laughs> I definitely lost my um, my cushion that I had the first two months of or first two weeks of the month. I was ahead about ten thousand steps. I was feeling really good. I was getting out. I was walking, doing everything I wanted. And then once I got sick, I was barely getting. I, I, there's a couple days I didn't even get a thousand steps. It was pretty bad. Uh, so that put a big kind of damper on some of it. Now, once I started feeling better, I started getting back out again and started really kind of slowly working up to being able to get out and walk more, but not trying to push myself too much in a way that was um, going to make me sick again. So yeah, that's the main, the main thing is, um, that I, unfortunately, that did put a, a bit of a damper on it. Now, my goal was to walk, it, it, I'm recording this on the 31st, so I haven't finished today, so the numbers are through the 30th. My goal was to walk 246,600 steps or 8,220 steps per day. That's what I would need to average in order to hit my 3 million step goal. I actually walked 232,421 through yesterday, which means I have a deficit of 15,570 steps. I'm not too concerned about that deficit because I also know in the summer I am outside, I'm hiking, I'm walking more, it's lighter, it's easier. Uh, so I'm not too concerned about the deficit. I am feeling pretty good. I, I do feel like I've built some good endurance. I really feel like I have um, made some great progress. I did make it to the gym five times to work out with my trainer, which was also good, keeping my muscle built up even after I was sick. I missed a full week in there. Normally I try and go twice a week, uh, it didn't happen. Uh, and yeah, I'm finding some different paths, some different routes around my neighborhood, and I'm really enjoying that part of this project. And it's, it is doing what I wanted it to do, which was get me to move more. If it hadn't been for that week, I feel like I would have smashed the goal. I would have just smashed it. Um, in terms of like other stuff, weight loss kind of pieces that, you know, I'm always hoping that that's an outcome of this. I will, I don't want to go into specifics because I don't really want the challenge to be about that, but I had more progress than I thought I would have in that arena in January. So yeah, it's been overall a good experience. The I, By the way, if you want to participate or have more interaction about the steps and the step where I'm at, I post a weekly reel on Instagram that shows where I'm at. I also have my Discord channel, which has a 3 million step channel on it. And you are well, or my Discord server, you, there's a channel on it for that. Um, and love to support everyone if you want to have a movement goal of any kind. It doesn't have to be 3 million steps. It doesn't have to be 8,000 a day. It's whatever 
whatever your body, um, you feel like your body could do. So yeah, but it's a lovely environment out there on Discord and the people that have been chatting um, have been super, super supportive. So again, I just want to say thank you about that because that has been amazing. Uh, and that's my update. That's where I'm at now. Red, next up. I'm ready to go. Um, hoping that the rain stops here soon because ugh, it's been it's been cloudy and gross and rainy and uh, and I was sick. It's just not a good combo. <laughs> Not a good combo, but uh, please leave me a comment down below. Um, if you have a movement goal, if you've read either one of these books, I would love to hear that. And as always, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks, bye!